patience. How to be or how to stay patient. And when you want something, for example, a new relationship or a new phone, or when you want something to be over as fast as possible, or how to stay patient in your relationship and with your spouse, or how to stay patient with your kids or with your friends. In this video, your insight in how to be or how to stay patient is about to change for you drastically. Have you ever wondered why staying patient is so difficult? If being or staying patient is difficult, could it mean that we are looking for relief from an unpleasant feeling by wanting something we have difficulty staying patient about? In other words, could it be that if we have difficulties with staying patient, that we hope that by getting our desired result will give us relief from a feeling we do not want to feel inside of ourselves? So for example, could it be that if we have difficulties with staying patient to get a new phone or a new relationship, that we hope that our new phone or our new relationship will bring us a relief from unsolved feelings that arise when we are not distracted by a new phone or a new relationship. Like for example, the feeling of loneliness. Or could it be if we have difficulties with staying patient, for example, to get sex within a relationship, that we hope that sex will bring us relief from unsolved feelings that arise when we are not getting a quick fix relief from sex. If, for example, a feeling of emptiness inside, of unworthiness or a restlessness that we do not want to feel. Or could it be that if we have difficulties with staying patient with our kids, that we hope that by having controlled and conditioned our kids the way we want them to, will bring us relief from the unsolved restlessness that arises within ourselves when our kids do not exactly what we want them to do. Could it therefore be that if we have difficulties with staying patient, means that we are looking for a distraction or a bandage from unsolved feelings we do not want to feel inside of ourselves? If we would feel independently fulfilled and relaxed, wouldn't we feel patient independent of our circumstances? Indeed, because we will feel independently fulfilled and relaxed. So the key to be and to stay patient with something or someone is to discover our independent fulfillment, independent of what we want or don't want. So we can enjoy everything in freedom and with patience. And for those who are patient, everything will be on time. Now to give you crystal clear clarity towards finding your independent fulfillment as the key towards being and staying patient with ease, I want to share the following fundamental animation with you. Now, if you have seen it, please like and share, and more importantly, enjoy putting it into your own practice. Now enjoy the animation. Imagine this heart represents our untouched and unharmed fulfilled feelings at the moment we are born. Imagine this diamond represents our pure core, our authentic purpose from which each and every one of us is designed to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Imagine these glasses as our perspective from our independent fulfilled core. Then from the moment we are born until now, we all experience painful emotions. And that pain sets around our core and our unharmed and fulfilled feelings. Because we don't know how to solve that pain, we have learned to escape from it. And do you know how? By building a wall around our feelings. And do you know how we build that wall? by constantly and stressfully running away from our feelings into our mind or thinking, looking for constant distractions. This escape from our feelings into stressful distractions is the birth of the root cause of all of our fear or restlessness. Distractions like constantly being busy with our phones, constantly being busy with busyness, or in other words, business, constantly looking for distractions in sex or porn. This escape from our core and feelings is also the birth of our numbing imprisonment 
and limitations. Note that we are not only running away from our unsolved feelings, but we are also locking and numbing our pure core and unharmed feelings too underneath this stressful hunt for distractions. This imprisonment out of fear makes us cramp or block our body. And this physical and psychological blockage we also call trauma. Now that we are locked up from our inner diamond, we don't feel our core value anymore. And this disconnection from our authentic core and feelings is the root cause of all of our feelings of emptiness and unworthiness. This is the moment where we not only use distractions to run away from our unsolved feelings, but also as a means to look for a feeling of fulfillment and worthiness by running away from our feelings. The contradiction shows itself clearly. Yet we are too busy to question this numbing, imprisoning wrong direction, which has become a routine for so many of us. We search our lost feelings of value and fulfillment, for example, in distractions like status or in filling us up with drinks and food. Do you see that by running away from our feelings, we can never reach a feeling of fulfillment or value in these distractions? And that is why each distraction, apart from the short shot of distraction it gives, doesn't keep working and falls apart. Now, when our distractions doesn't work anymore, or our control falls away, unsolved pain breaks through our wall of protection in the form of symptoms like anxiety, irritation, anger, self-pity, irregularity or jealousy. It's obvious we don't want to feel that way and that's why we start hunting for more and new numbing distractions and want to hold on to our current distractions that serve as a band-aid away from our unsolved feelings. This is the birth of the root cause of all addictions. Even if they are not good for us, as long as they distract us from our own unsolved issues. To make sure we will get and keep our addicting distractions, we literally use people and distractions as distractions away from ourselves. So we learn to develop behavior that is only interested in being distracted from our own feelings. This is the birth of our covert victim behavior, like criticism, bringing down others, abuse or allowing abuse, complaining, lying, denying, blaming, bribery, mind games, assumptions, reversals, forgetting, fake concern, flattery, conscious denial, relational aggression, damaging someone's relationships or social status or overt victim behavior like actual physical aggression. Both covert and overt victim behavior is intended as a big distraction to not be confronted with our own unsolved issues and responsibility anymore. This imprisoning, numbing rat race of hunting for distractions that never can bring us a feeling of fulfillment or worthiness is extremely exhausting. This direction away from our core might sooner or later lead to symptoms like exhaustion, depression, burnout, stress, tiredness, or even thoughts about suicide. Now, my intention of showing you this perspective is to make crystal clear that there isn't anything wrong with you that if you might have one or even all of these symptoms, that it only means that you are heading in the wrong direction, away from your own diamond and feelings. Every time we get a new distraction, like a new partner, new sex, new stuff, we get a short shot of distraction. And this short shot gives us the illusion that by proceeding in the direction away from our core, we will eventually find our complete feeling of fulfillment that we are longing for. 
but you now see that distractions cannot provide us with a feeling when we run away from our feelings. The more we keep blocking our core and cramping our body, the more diseases we encounter. Now, diseases are helping warning symptoms to help warn us that we are still blocking our healthy flow and are heading in the wrong direction. Disease symptoms like headache, migraine, bad sleep, back pain, shoulder pain, high blood pressure, or other physical diseases are only symptoms of being blocked for too long. If we are still not aware of the fact that our symptoms are our very valuable warning signals, we might choose to suppress our helping warning signals with medication and therefore keep blocking our feelings and core even more. Although medication can be life-saving in acute conditions, if we keep blocking our core and feelings, our body is being injected with constant fight and flight chemicals like stress cortisol and adrenaline that knocks our body out of balance. And according to the science of epigenetics, this chronic imbalance and blockage might switch on our inherited disease-causing genes and actually creates diseases. If we still won't listen to our valuable disease symptoms and keep blocking our natural flow of life, our chronic blockage might turn into a flatline. My intention is that you have clarity and insight that liberation from our symptoms lie in the exact opposite direction. In solving our unsolved pain, until the only thing left to be experienced are our independent, unharmed and untouched feelings of fulfillment and core, from which we are designed to see with clarity and to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Then there will be no more fear or stress to feel our unsolved emotions. And this will bring clarity and peace in our mind. And from there we can create and enjoy all great things life has to offer us in total freedom. Before we continue, I wonder what does it do to you realizing that underneath our unsolved issues, we are still the untouched and unharmed clean slate. Now feel free to let me know in the comment box, I'm curious. Now knowing in our mind is one thing. Now wait until you experience it for yourself. To be able to actually experience our liberated, untouched and unharmed slate again, the key is to become radical honest with ourselves, to discover what our unsolved issues really are. Because we can only clean our dark spider webs if we know where to find them. To help you find them so you can remove them once and for all, I've created a free checklist you can fill out for your own reference. And I also have made a free tool for you that will get you past every symptom of fear to make sure that you will arrive. And I also want to show you a proof that you can cleanse yourself completely no matter what has happened to you. And this is very valuable because if we don't have proof that it also works for us, then we wouldn't even bother. On top of that, I want you to know the truth about fear and pain that will set your mind free already. Now click here so I can send you the four free videos and checklist gifts so we can start tomorrow on one of the greatest journeys that we can ever make. Now let as much people as possible enjoy your complete liberation.